There are a set rule of things that make a good website, a few being functionality, ease of use, search engine optimization, and content to really pull in the user. And I created a terminal website that has none of that. I have no flashy pictures to pull you in. I, it's just a black screen. You can't even use your mouse to navigate. It's all done via the command line on your keyboard. And it'll only feel familiar to those of us who use Terminal, which neglects 99% of the market. And if that wasn't hard enough, I have hidden content on the website as Easter eggs. But let's take it back to yesterday when I began this project. I needed some inspiration, so I decided to do a little bit of research, looking at some of like the native terminals or whatever you want to call PowerShell and the command prompt and developer PowerShell. But I've been looking at Linux stuff. I've been looking at WSL2 and just kind of getting the vibe. Obviously, I don't like the Windows backslash and this just doesn't look that cool. This as a single line looks cooler already because it has color to it. And it's more terminal like rather than, you know, this. However, I do like having something here and here and here right when you pop it up, like when you come to the website, it pops up rather than just having a line. But I also wanted to see other people's interpretation of terminal themed websites. So starting with this one, it is an obvious Mac OS theme terminal website, which I think is cool, but not exactly how I wanna go about it. This one, to be honest with you, I don't really even like this one that much. This one, however, is my favorite. I really like this one. It is more in the browser rather than being a window like popped up on the browser. I like this vibe better. This one's pretty cool too, cause it's, it's no frills, no ASCII art, even though I think I like the ASCII art. It's just simple. And when you refresh the page, like when you first come to it, it gives you an example of what to do, which I, I appreciate that. And then this one, straightforward, simple, a little bit of ASCII art, just saying, hey, type help to view a list of available commands. A few themes that I'll probably follow are the ASCII art of this one and this one, but you know, my own flair on it. All of these have something that has to do with typing help for your list of available commands. Type help for list of supported commands. And here's the list. Type help to see list of available commands. And here's the list. For a list of commands, type help. And well, here's the list. And one more to go. Type help to view a list of available commands. And this one I like a little bit more because, well, actually the descriptions aren't too good. I like the idea of there being an actual description as to what to expect. You can use context clues. Yeah, when it says about, presumably that's about the end individual who owns the website, but I would like a little bit of, you know, three word description onto like it's who is forced or something like that. I think it'll make more sense for some of the other commands to have an explanation of what this command will do. Starting with the boilerplate, the index.html file with the head and body. All I know now is that I'm going to need a text area. This is where we're going to enter our commands, then a handful of other minute details to get us started. I'm not gonna bore you with the basic HTML and CSS stuff, but this is our starting point. Let's put the functionality together first before we start making it look all pretty and like an actual terminal. My goal is to just use pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, because as you know, I'm probably the best JavaScript developer on YouTube. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Woohoo, professional coder. Now my favorite part, the details. What commands are we actually going to use and what exactly should they display? The first thing is help, which displays all of the available commands. The first one is about, or let's, let's make that who is. Kind of like that a little bit better. Then we have my videos, we have my projects, we have my socials and a secret command. The secret, will be password protected. I know a few more commands I don't wanna add, but let me leave that to surprise y'all when you use a website yourself. So when we do each of these commands, the who is will be a small bio about me. Projects, well, we can figure this out later, I guess. Um, a couple of socials, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, GitHub, maybe a few more later on. I just wanna get this working with a few of these examples. I think we make a main.js file to actually get the logic going. And the main part here is going to be a switch statement with each case being our commands and with a little bit of other code added in as well. I'm trying to keep some of my code secret, so I'm not the one to spoil the Easter eggs for y'all. If you spoil it for yourself, then that's on you. Y'all think this is gonna work? Huh. H-E-L-P, enter. No, it does, it does nothing. We can just take a little bit of this code, paste it over here. Now, H-E-L-P, ooh, 
That didn't show last time, did it? Enter. Aha! Okay, it's a little big right now because we're at 400%. But look at that. Now this shouldn't work. Good. Okay, it doesn't work. If somehow it did work, I'd be very confused. Now it's just a lot more of this, but with each command. Y'all want to watch me figure this out for the next hour or... Ta-da! You didn't even have to sit through any of that. I'll take a thumbs up on the video if you don't mind. So the who is command displays this. I wanted a few breaks in between the new line and the old command. So it would be a nice little block in between, which we haven't done any styling yet. I'm just kind of thinking ahead a little bit. However, I do need to condense this down a little bit. We have our socials, all of them linked. I have it kind of display like the help commands where you have the command and you have what the command does. Here, you have the social and a link to that social, which this is what it displays. YouTube slash F Knight, Twitter slash Farce P Knight, so on and so forth. Projects. This is kind of the procrastinating way to go about it because I don't feel like doing it all right now. So I'll just, I'll just say we're still curating it. I will have them done whenever I do my actual website. This is just like a fun little in-between terminal website before I do like my main personal website. Oh yeah, I added help and I added clear. Not functional yet, but I added them. Which by the way, I'm calling each of these help projects social in the actual switch case, help uh, social projects, you see? There's definitely gonna be a little bit more flair, a little bit more styling I'm gonna add to this uh, switch statement in the cases so it's not just like regular whatever, but again, we're not doing styling just yet. But let's see how this works. So help should work, it worked the first time, okay. Who is, this one's gonna be a doozy. All right, as you can see, I did new line because when I format it, it's gonna be much smaller. And then social is the real kicker, let's see. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now there is one command in particular that I'm avoiding showing y'all, and that is this one right here, secret. That one, I'm not gonna tell you about. Obviously you have to go ahead and find the password and then f go down that rabbit hole. But I think it's time to make things a little pretty, a little bit more terminal-like. And I've done some research like throughout this process. I think I know what color scheme I'm going with. It's, it's unlike anything you've seen. Now what I really wanna do first is just make it look a little bit more like a terminal, removing the text area box so it's just the carrot there blinking, which it is there. It's not blinking yet, it's white though, so we'll be able to display that a little bit later. And I know I'm gonna to wanna to have these commands be a different color than the rest, and then what the output is be a different color than all of that, but you know, I'll implement all of that later. I'm just kind of getting most of the boilerplate down and implementing the blinker and whatnot to get this blinking, which it is at 50%, but obviously this video sped up. And I wanna change the colors. See, I really like these colors, but the font I'm not really a fan of and the padding and the spacing and a lot of other details that are just me going back and forth, changing this, changing that, changing this, changing that with this being the result. Not the final result, but for the time being. This is the main theme of this with the colors and the monospace font. I really like how it sits right now. But I told y'all I wanna have like some ASCII letters. I also, which is obviously gonna be my name, but I also would like some ASCII art as well. Something that's beachy or islandy or just looking over the water. Whew, all right, so after a lot of small details, this is where we're at with our ASCII art, hoping it works this time, and it sure does. And I don't think we're quite done yet. Uh, like, I, I would like these to be the same color as the command. Maybe adjust some of the spacing a little bit. I thought I added breaks in between here. Oh no, I didn't. Huh? All right, that's a little better, but still got to change some of the colors. And I also got to change some of the the commands because they're not exactly they're not everything that i want to add in here all right but i like how this is looking there are so there oh. what do y'all think of the color scheme though i mean so we have the green is like the main color and as well as the hover over color and then we have the brown i guess as a secondary color if you will and then for the commands we have this blue and i added like a glowing effect to it as you can see and then this purple i don't know they're all kind of like faded colors so i like them or not faded what what like pastel if you will instead of like super bright like this over here they're just I don't know, they're just a little bit better in my opinion. Not quite done, I also, I still got a little bit of work to do. 
but I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Just gotta add this in there real quick. And that's it. That's all I'm going to show you in the video because I want to give you the opportunity to go in and play around with it if that's, I mean, if you're interested in doing that yourself. I tried to count how many Easter eggs I had in there. Obviously, I couldn't show those in this video or else that just defeats the whole purpose. But I counted at least four with a few others that I, well, I'm not sure count as Easter eggs or if they're just technically part of the program or the website or whatever. But... Either way, this was a fun project. I would love to get y'all's uh, opinion on how I, on the project itself, but also how I structured this video. I'm always trying new ways and different ways to go about it. I don't know if like I should have showed more code. I tried to show little snippets here and there. So what'd you think? This is a genuine question, not like a way to get you to engage more in this video by making a bunch of comments. No, I'm genuinely curious. What did you think of the structure of this video? And how do you like the website? You think it's pretty cool? I like it, which I guess is really all that matters, right? But uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this and you're not already, subscribe. And I'll see y'all here soon. Maybe next week. Bye.